Welcome back to Just a Printer. Some of my German speaking friends out there might enjoy this. The Three Little Pigs in Pennsylvania German. That's really gonna chew through the toner. Clutches are here. Okay, so I ordered two different types. I got six paper feet clutches because you need two of those for each of the trays. And I got two of these clutches for the ADU. This thing's been running all morning. It's been running really good. Printing uh, one of the first signatures of this booklet. Uh, just single side because the second side's black and white. Just fixed it. Okay, 6500 is running real nice. It's doing color one side. Then after I do the color side, bring it over here, load her up, and the black and white side gets printed. My calculations are correct. It's going to take about three days to print everything. And this is just a separate job, but once this job's done, I'm going to be using this to complete the, uh, the large uh, directory job I'm doing. Okay, so I got the wrong clutches here. So I'm forced to try and figure out a new way to, to get the paper to feed on here. And I can't get anything to work. So I'm currently testing each of the three trays and I can get it to feed on tray three, but not one and two. The bypass is fine. But I keep getting 1701, which I thought putting new clutches would work. Um, but they sent me the wrong clutches. What I did temporarily was pulled clutches out of the 3070 to put them in this tray to test it, and that didn't fix it, so it's not the clutches, it's something else. I gotta dig a little deeper. And just to clarify, those clutches in the ADU, those work fine, so this duplex is, which is awesome. Thanks for the tips from everybody. But right now, it's just getting paper to feed out of these three trays. So I get the 1701, and then I have a page here. And putting the new clutches in actually might have helped because typically the paper was stopping like right here and now it's advanced further. But it does make me think, and I think somebody also suggested it, that the paper feed motor uh, could be on its way out. Um, so I might need to look at that. But hopefully we can get this running because I don't want to run all these through the bypass. Now one of the service manuals did suggest MC5 uh, might be causing this problem. Uh, and that almost makes sense to me because what will happen is one page will come out and uh, the error 1701 is specifically that this sensor does not turn on in the specified amount of time. So it would make sense that the paper would come up here and slowly travel across here because a clutch is slipping uh, and it doesn't get up here fast enough. So let's see if I changed that uh, before and if not, hopefully one of the clutches we got around here 
will fit in there, maybe solve the problem. But that doesn't make entire sense because the bypass runs fine. So if it is a clutch that's bad, I would suspect it to be this clutch because this is where paper comes up from the three bottom trays. And any clutch from here back should be fine. I think, let's see. So this is the clutch for the bypass, which should be operating fine. I believe this would probably be the MC5 that should be replaced potentially. Looks like we have a new one down there. And there's, I think this is one I had replaced, but this might be the faulty one. You know, I should also check the part numbers on that because if the last time I ordered clutches, they sent me the wrong ones and I didn't double check and I might have just put them in, the wrong ones could be in here. So I got a little bit of homework to make sure all the right clutches are at the right spot. Okay, I gotta think about this a little bit more. So I'm just gonna run it from the bypass for now. At least I have production going. And I'm gonna think a little bit. So I'm getting a 1706 from tray one only. And if I try any of either tray two or tray three, I'm getting a 1701 code. Um, I still wanna probably swap out that clutch that I was talking about that could be uh, a reason why it's slow but I just want to think about this a little bit while it's running because a couple of the uh, the manuals are also saying that it's possibly a printer control board but I'm always suspicious of that because that's like there's 30 other things between here and there that I got to try before I do something like that that's always last step I suspected this was gonna happen. My drum's starting to fail. So yellow, magenta, and cyan all have 313%, which is pretty typical to get 300 out of it. Um, and we're starting to see a very faint magenta line there. So I got drums. I think I'm just gonna do the magenta one and see how long the other ones last. This whole tray issue kind of has me perplexed because yesterday I ran like 8,000 clicks through here no problems in tray three. Today, it doesn't want to print on tray three. It prints like a champ on the bypass tray. Um, so it's an intermittent issue, which intermittent issues are really a pain in the neck because they come and they go and it's not an obvious fail. But the good thing is, is the amount of clicks that I'm gonna be running on here over the next few days, any weak link is gonna fail. So it should become obvious as I continue to go on here. I think I got it. So we're running now. No longer using the bypass. This is coming from tray three. I didn't record any of my tinkering, but basically I took that out. I took this part out and I rebuilt the whole thing. I mean, I took all the shafts apart I cleaned all these bushings, and some of them on the bottom side were pretty nasty. So I cleaned it all out with alcohol, lightly oiled it, and now it's running. So I'll do the same to this, and then uh, tray one as well. And then all three trays should be running, which is just what I need because I have a ton more to print. But good thing is, is while I was working on that, I was printing from the bypass, so I got Two big old stacks here of about 10,000 sheets, so keep on going. So this is how I figured out what I wanted to try and do. I had just taken it apart and I was turning it and it it just, it feels like it's dragging. It's like sticky. 
so I cleaned it all out. Now she's running fine. You know, this really reminds me of the whole coronavirus thing. Everybody's mind goes to worst case scenario right away. Same with fixing equipment. You go worst case scenario. But I'd say eight or nine times out of 10, it's something simple. So try the simple stuff. But I mean, I forget it too. I mean, I go to clutches and wiring and stuff like that and I even forget just to clean it. So there you have it. Just got done cleaning out the feeder for tray two, so now we're running out of two and three. No problems at all. So all this black gunk came from uh, those copper collars uh, where the shaft spins in there, they're all gunked up. And I don't know if it was because they were oiled, uh, maybe they just gathered dirt over the years and it just became like tar in there. It was tough to turn those. So cleaned all those out. I didn't oil it or anything. I just cleaned it out with alcohol. Uh, and uh, it's running fine. So I guess I'll do tray one yet and then I'll consider this thing ready to rock and roll. I mean, I got the duplex fixed. I got feeding from all the trays. That's awesome. I'm gonna run this thing a lot. I mentioned that I had ordered clutches for those trays, which I don't need anymore, uh, but I'm still gonna hold on to them. I'm sure they'll come in handy at some point uh, because they're used on all of these machines. Um, so this is a clutch I ordered and it has like a composite collar on there. And these are the clutches that I received. It has a metal collar up here. And uh, I was talking to my technician today and he said that those are indeed interchangeable. Oh, we got a jam. But anywho, uh, this is what I received and the number up here is what I ordered. Uh, so just so you know, those two parts are interchangeable. Uh, they work fine. So. Okay, so that's the second half of the paper I need for this job. And I'm just really happy with how well this is going. Now I have those trays cleaned up. Such a simple fix. And it is chugging through paper like crazy. I mean, uh, for each stack of paper, it takes about two hours for each one of these. So, and this is just one sided right now. I've got one more signature like that to do. And I have a chart here. Uh, you know, the circled pages are color, and then these are black and white. So I'm going through doing all my single sided. Then I'm gonna back all those up and then continue. I was gonna run it on all three of these machines, but as long as this thing's running the way it is, I'm just gonna keep it here because it's so much cheaper to run it on this machine than the 3070. It's time. I don't know if you can tell, but my magenta is shot. So that lack of density is because the developer needs to be changed. If you go in here and check your counter, magenta developers at 326. So cyan would probably go out here shortly as well, and I have both of those uh, ready to roll. So I think I'll probably just replace magenta for now. I'm not going to record this, so uh, if you want to learn how to change developers you don't know how, check out my previous videos. I did it on black. It's the exact same for all the colors. Well, I think we're going to wrap it up there. Uh, still we're a little over halfway done printing uh, this directory. Uh, and I'll bring you guys back on the finishing side of things. And I'll also 
touch base on why I decided to do it in-house and uh, the, the economics of running your own machine that you service versus a machine that you have a service contract for versus what this would have cost if we did it on offset. So stay tuned for that in the future. Uh, not sure what's really going to happen in the future. Uh, Governor Wolf just shut down all non-essential businesses in Pennsylvania, which is printing businesses. So uh, we'll, our doors are going to be closed. Uh, I live and work on the same property, so I'll still probably work. I'd like to knock this directory out, but uh, if we're shut down for a extended period of time I guess I'll post some videos about estimating or something else if I run out of work to do so anyway thanks for watching catch you later